Hi, I'm Marcia Lester, the news editor of the Journal of Chemical Physics, and um, it's a pleasure to be here at the American Chemical Society in Salt Lake City, um, representing um, the journal uh, at the American Institute of Physics booth, um, sponsored by uh, sponsoring the journal. Um, we, I want to report some exciting new directions for the journal, um, but before we get into those details, um, let me start by introducing uh, the newest associate editor that will be joining the journal, um, David Sherrill from Georgia Tech. Uh, welcome. We're really excited for coming on board in May and um, in the area of electronic structure theory, and I thought it would be really great if you could share with us some um, some. Uh, information about the, the range of um, uh, theory that you're involved in and how that might impact on the areas that we're covering with you. Uh, thank you very much, Marcia. I'm really happy to be joining. Uh, I've published uh, all my best theoretical work in JCP over the years, so I'm very honored to be joining as an associate editor. Uh, my area of research is electronic structure theory, particularly uh, cases where strong electron correlation is important, either in breaking chemical bonds where you have a lot of near degeneracies, or even in cases of non-covalent interactions where electron correlations are really critical to describe van der Waals interactions and other kinds of non-covalent interactions. So we've done some methodological work with configuration interaction and couple cluster theory where we're looking at these higher order electron correlations. And we've also done some uh, work on applications of these methods to a wide variety of systems, including transition metal catalysts uh, and also non-covalent interactions, particularly involving aromatic systems. Those are very important to the stability of DNA and RNA. They're also important to the interpolation of drugs and protein folding and a lot of other kinds of uh, questions in biochemistry as well as material science. Oh, well, that sounds really exciting. It really does. Um, and so I think what's important to hear is that this will be the third associate editor working in the area of electronic structure theory. Um, David is going to be joining uh, Ernest Davidson, who has been an associate editor for a very long time with the journal. Um, and we also welcomed just about a year ago Todd Martinez um, uh, in this area of expertise. Um, and uh, for those of you who might not know, uh, Todd has recently moved to Stanford University, and um, so the journal will now be spanning from um, all across the United States and, uh, and into Europe as well. So um, I think that uh, it's important to emphasize that electronic structure theory represents one of the core areas of the journal, and maybe you'd like to just touch on that briefly as well. JCC has really been the place to publish advances in methods in electronic structure theory, and we're committed to making sure that that stays the case. Um, I think there's a lot of exciting developments going on in electronic structure theory right now. Uh, there are some nice new methods coming along, reduced density matrices, matrix methods. Uh, there's also uh, explicit electron correlation methods uh, and other sort of connected things like polarizable force fields ultimately derived from advances in electronic structure theory. So I, I think the idea is that we want to maintain the core strength in that area and expand it into related areas. And, and that, let me just amplify on that because um, uh, with the addition of uh, David Sherrill to the associate editor group, we will now be nine associate editors and we're going to be continuing to expand um, the pool of associate editors which will allow us to move into new and emerging areas at the interface between chemistry and physics. And so stay tuned, there will be uh, additional associate editors coming on board in the, in the coming months. Um, and I just want to conclude with um, that we hope that uh, authors will contribute their very best papers uh, to the Journal of Chemical Physics um, because it continues to be the most cited journal in the areas of atomic, molecular, and chemical.